Hey there! So today's demo is about installing Python on your own computer. Although for this class we're using a cloud-based Python service, uh, sometimes people do want to install it on their own computer just to play around, uh, so they have something consistent, uh, like after the course is over, uh, often your computer might be more powerful than uh, what's available on the, the cloud services that we're using. Uh, so anyway, I thought I would uh, walk you through it, uh, just in case you want to do it. But I want to emphasize this is entirely optional. You don't need to install Python on your own computer to do the work for this course, because we do provide the, the cloud-based service. And you know, there's a chance that you're going to have some incompatibilities because some of the packages you install might be slightly different versions or something. Um, and, and we just, you know, within the course, don't have the ability necessarily to provide full tech support for everybody's individual installations. So kind of you know, DIY at your own risk. But uh, in case you're interested, uh, here we go. So the version of Python that I recommend is one that's distributed by Anaconda, which is an organization who have developed this uh, distribution of Python, so the core Python language itself, plus a bunch of packages uh, specifically for scientific Python, scientific applications, basically. So when you install Anaconda Python, you get a fully working version of Python, but uh, automatically you get a whole bunch of packages that really cover the basic range of things that you'll need for doing most scientific applications. So things that we'll use in the course like NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, all of those uh, come along for free. So that makes it a lot easier than trying to sort of piece those together yourself, which is an alternative way of doing the installation. So you get Anaconda from the Anaconda cloud, anaconda.org. And uh, one of the buttons at the top is download Anaconda. So pretty straightforward. Click on the download button, zoom. And uh, generally you will want the graphical installer for whatever platform computer you're using. I'm on a Mac, so I'll download that. And we will speed up time to make that download appear like it happened really fast, even though it'll take a minute or so. Okay. So Anaconda is downloaded, and I can just go down, fire up that package, and it's going to install like any other Mac application is. So continue, continue, agree, sell my life away. Uh, generally speaking, you want to install for me only. Um, that's the default option. Uh, and click on that uh, to make it work. Say continue and go install and we're going to speed up time again so my installation is complete that took a few minutes and i'm going to say okay close that move my installer to the trash and we're golden if we look in our applications folder uh, you have this anaconda navigator you can fire that up and this is basically an interface that shows you all of the things that were installed along with Anaconda. So I said it was installing Python and scientific Python, uh, but in fact, it's installing some other bells and whistles too. So it's installing Jupyter, which is the notebook interface uh, for doing Python and R and other things. Uh, it's actually installed uh, Jupyter Lab, which is like a more full-blown uh, interface to Jupyter. Uh, it's installed RStudio, it's installed something like uh, called Spider, which is kind of like RStudio for Python. Um, so a lot of bells and whistles, you can play around with that. But for now, the simple one actually is I'm just going to launch JupyterLab. So it'll fire up your web browser and you'll see this nice interface. Uh, since we installed Anaconda Python, we have Python here. If I had installed uh, R on my computer, and you can actually install R through Anaconda. Uh, just Google the instructions for that if, if you want to, obviously not for this course, but to have a, a full installation. You could do that, um, but you can create a notebook here and do things like import NumPy, shift enter to run it. So it runs just like uh, the Jupyter notebook interfaces that uh, you're seeing through the cloud services uh, that we're, we're running in the class. Um, you can run, you know, whatever Python commands. There we go. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. 